guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is Jennifer I am so excited that you have decided to watch my video today we are going to be talking about two things in today's video the first thing we are going to be talking about today is if I started cash dumping today what would I do how would I get started and the second thing is really exciting it is going to be a giveaway I recently hit 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube thank you guys so much for that I am like so, 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 so thankful. <laughs> that was a lot of so's. Guys, I am so excited. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you supporting me on my debt-free journey. So I want to do a giveaway to thank you for your support. And it's something really, really exciting. So make sure to stick around for the giveaway announcement. Okay guys, so we are just gonna go ahead and jump right in. So the very first thing that you need to do if you are getting started on your cash stuffing journey is to create a spending plan. Now, your spending plan is meant to give your money a job to reach your goals. So your spending plan is how you decide to spend your money and to spend it intentionally so that you can reach your goals. So how do you create a spending plan? really simple you just take your income you subtract your bills from your income and then with the leftover money after your bills you go ahead and assign that to your different categories where you need to spend your money whether it's groceries whether it's spending whether it's getting your nails done whether it's getting haircuts or saving money for christmas birthday anything like that those are going to be your spending categories after all your bills are paid for. So once you do that, once you work the numbers and you kind of adjust and you decide what's realistic for you, what's going to work for you, what isn't, and where you need to cut back so that you can reach those goals. For example, something that I really want to get done is get LASIK, and that is because I really want my quality of life to be the highest that it can be you know i get a lot of joy from spending time with my family from traveling and my health is super important and that is something that i am prioritizing this year so one of my major goals is to get lasik done so you decide what is going to motivate you whether that's going on a trip or whatever your goal is buying a house buying a car paying off debt whatever your goal is just go ahead and make sure that you work that into your spending plan so that you make progress and that keeps you motivated. Now, I recommend you do five to seven categories, but you can decide what's best for you. I know that there are a lot of cash stuffers that have 30, 40 categories. That's great, but I don't recommend getting started there. When you first start off, it's better if you just keep it simple. That way, once you set these goals and you start this routine it's easy for you to stick to and then you can add little by little as you go so next thing you want to do is decide how often to cash stuff we were cash stuffing twice a month so my husband real quick i'm just going to give you a little side story my husband is in the military we are on a single income currently because we moved from europe to california earlier this year and we are still settling in I have a son and a daughter. My son starts school later this year. He's going to be starting kindergarten. I'm so excited for that. But I decided that I was just going to wait until he starts school to go back to work. So we currently are on a single income. And this is my first hard learned lesson for you guys. When I was in Germany, I was working and we would get paid on opposite weeks. So it was great to always have that income, but now that we don't get paid every single week, we have to figure out a way to budget just based off of his pay schedule, which is the 1st and 15th. And let me tell you, it was a struggle that second week. You know, every single time I realized we would get to that second week and we were running on fumes. Like we almost spent all of our money and we would be teetering on going over budget all the time on that second week. So I made the choice to go ahead and do weekly cash stuffings and it has been life changing. I highly recommend doing weekly, even if you get paid once a month, twice a month, 
whatever it is, I highly recommend that you do weekly cash stuffings. That way you can really keep control over your budget and the shorter amount of time between each cash stuffing, I noticed that weekly is like that sweet spot for us anyways. You do what works for your family, but I highly recommend starting with weekly. If you get paid monthly, definitely do your spending plan based off of the monthly amount and then go back and divide your categories by the amount of weeks in that month. For example, if you set aside $200 for groceries and there's four weeks that month, then you would do $50 each week for groceries. That's just an example. That's not what we spend on groceries. We actually spend about 200 every week. It's pretty expensive here in California. And so um, that's just like an easy number example of how to go ahead and divide that if you are getting paid monthly. Um, but if you're getting paid weekly, then that's great. You can just go ahead and divide your bills up that way. So the next step would be planning your denominations. I highly recommend starting with denominations of 20 because that is very simple to just drive to an ATM, pull out your cash, go home and put it in your envelopes. Whenever you are creating a new habit, the easier it is for you to accomplish that habit directly correlates with how successful you are going to be at actually sticking to that new habit. So if you are able to do your denominations in something that is easy to take from the ATM versus having to go into the bank, stand in line and get the money from the teller, I would definitely try to plan your withdrawals in the easiest denominations possible. I know nowadays a lot of ATMs you are able to do hundreds, twenties, tens, some of them have fifties, fifties actually my favorite denomination, but just do what works best for you. Make it comfortable for your family and make it comfortable for yourself. That way you can stick to it. And next is actually doing the cash stuffing. So make sure that you are pulling that money out from the ATM, going home and putting it in the envelopes that you have already decided what your envelopes are and that way you can stick to the plan that you have created for yourself so that you can accomplish those goals. Now, I'm going to give you a couple more tips on how to stick with this. The steps are pretty easy, but sticking to it is the difficult part. So one of the most important things you can do is get your partner, your family, your friends on board. So if you are married, if you are in a serious relationship, it is so, so, so important that you get your partner on board because you want to be able to have them there to provide you support when necessary. And I don't mean support as in paying for your bills. I mean, that's nice. But what I mean is for them to encourage you to stick to your plan and to remind you that you don't need that thing from Amazon. You don't need that thing from Marshalls. You want, you have a plan. And if you want to accomplish your goals, to stick to your plan. So that is what I mean by them supporting you, by them reminding you what you want to do and why you were doing this in the first place. I highly encourage you to also talk to your friends and family. That way they know what is going on and they're not feeling left out or feeling like you're hiding something from them because I've been there when I was younger. I was on a budget. I had to put myself through college because my parents made too much money to qualify for financial aid but not enough to actually help me with college so whereas a lot of my friends um, either had financial aid or had parents helping them I had neither and so I was on a budget and a lot of times I would say hey you know I can go out on Saturday but I can't go out on Sunday as well and I never really wanted to tell them why because I was a little bit embarrassed but there is nothing to be embarrassed about being honest about your financial situation with those closest to you is just going to help you because a lot of times they will be understanding and a lot of times they probably can't afford it either and they might be putting it on a credit card. So maybe you guys can figure out a way to have like movie night or do other things that don't cost money or that cost like just a little bit. That way you can still have that time with your friends and family but not break the bank. Another tip that I'm going to give you is eating out. I'm not going to say don't eat out because that's not realistic, 
but I am going to say limit your eating out. So planning on when you're going to eat out and actually treating it like a treat every single time is going to help you so much. So eating out for convenience, that needs to go. Eating out to spend time with family and friends, eating out to treat yourself, yes, I agree with those two reasons to eat out. Otherwise, if you cannot afford it, just don't do it or limit it as much as you can. If you know that you like to eat out, then work it into your spending plan, but make sure that it's realistic and make sure that it is in line with your goals. Okay guys, so the last tip that I'm gonna give you before I announce the giveaway is set up an emergency fund. The last thing you wanna do while you're making progress towards your goals is have to pull that money out to pay for an emergency. I mean, it'll be good that you have the money, but it'll be better if it's in your emergency fund. And so with that being said, you guys, I just want to say cash stuffing has really changed my life. I had done it once before when my husband and I first got married. And recently, like I said, we moved to California and we had a tight budget because things are so much more expensive here than the last place that we lived. And so going back to the cash stuffing method has really helped us get back into a good place. It is helping us pay off our debt. If you're interested in hearing about our debt, you I have other videos, you can go check them out. Um, but cash stuffing really does work. And I am just so happy that I decided to start cash stuffing again and that I created this channel and my Instagram and I found all of you to support and inspire me to stick to my goals. And so I want to say thanks by giving away a cash stuffing binder and a little starter kit. So I'm gonna go grab it really quick. Give me one second. Soul Mama Ritual and Crafts reached out to me and they were so kind to send me this binder. And I'm going to show it to you in just a second. But if you have not heard of Soul Mama, they are a shop over on Amazon. They also have an Etsy shop and an Instagram account, so go ahead and check them out. But they reached out to me, they sent me this binder, and I want to bless one of you with a binder. So to enter my giveaway, I want you to click the link in the description box. It is going to take you to the Amazon storefront for Soul Mama. And I want you to select the binder that you would love to get started with or that you would love to add to your collection. And then come back to this video and comment which binder you would like. You can say, you know, I want the A6 Zodiac one or I want the one that you showed in your video. Um, whatever it is that you choose, I want you to comment that down below and that will be your entry to my giveaway. But I'm just gonna show you guys real quick what I received. So this is how it comes packaged. Uh, she includes a little card. When you shop from a small business, you support a big dream. I love that. So I chose the holographic pink binder because of course you guys know I love pink. And this one is a magnetic closure. I love that. This is the A6 size. And so it has some pockets here. It has a pen holder. It has another pen holder over on this side and it does say Soul Mama, and then it has a pocket over here. This is going to be my binder, so if you guys decide to enter my giveaway, you will receive your own binder that I will be sending you, but this is the one that I got, and it comes with some labels. So it has a whole bunch of labels here that are pre-made that are really, really nice. They are also holographic. So it comes with three sheets of labels, and then it also comes with the envelopes there are all kinds of envelopes guys you don't need something fancy to get started you can definitely go to the dollar store and get a pack of envelopes you can but personally if i was getting started today this is what i would do if i was getting started day one i would do this because the price point is great the quality is great i already opened this up and looked at it and guys the quality is really really nice and you get a lot for a great price point. And so it comes with quite a few envelopes, more than you need when you're just getting started. You probably won't even know what to do with all of these, but it comes with a lot of envelopes. It comes with a bunch of labels. You can, you can stick these on here. You can pull them off as needed, but it's gonna come with all of that. These envelopes are the ones that have a little 
flap and they are very, very durable. So like I said, you can definitely get started with paper envelopes from the Dollar Tree, but these are great quality. They're gonna last you a long time. You're not gonna have to replace them every time they get ripped or wet or get all crunched up in your purse. These are very, very durable. They are a nice like plastic. Um, so if I was getting started, this is what I would get started with. And then it also comes with a $200 savings challenge. And I'm gonna pull out the budget tracker sheets really quick because these are really helpful when you're first getting started. So these are also, um, they fit in these folders. So let's say you have your grocery category, you can write it down right there. And then as you are adding or subtracting money, you can just write it down that way you can keep track you definitely want to be stuffing these every week and then either you can zero out the balance and just put whatever is left over towards savings or or you can roll it over if you know that maybe next week you have a barbecue or whatever you can go ahead and roll the money over and just keep track of it here um, but just make sure that when you are getting started that you put your change back in your envelope one time it happened to me getting anxious at the register and i just like stuffed the money back in my purse and then when I went to the next place, I did the same thing. And I didn't know which money went where, and it was just a whole mess. I had to look at the receipts and I figured it out, but just put your change back in your envelope and you won't have to worry about all that. Um, but yeah, guys, I am so excited that Soul Mama reached out to me. I love their products and I want to bless one of you guys with a binder and envelopes from them. So go check out their shop, let me know down below if you win what it is you would choose for yourself and if you are selected i will reach out to you and i will send you the item that you want if you decide to use the link in the description box to purchase something um, just know that it is an affiliate link so i will be getting a small commission you will be supporting me and my channel by using my link um, it doesn't cost you anything extra the price is the exact same uh, but just know that I'll be earning a little bit from that. So you'll be helping me reach my goals as well. But yeah, guys, I am so excited. I hope that you are excited for my giveaway. I, but yeah, I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that it was informative. If you have any questions, you can always leave it down below. I read every single comment and I respond to every single comment. And uh, yeah, also on Instagram, I'm super responsive. So if you guys ever just want to say hey, or if you have any questions, reach out. I love hearing from you guys. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.